Hey guys, back again with another Octopath Traveler video. And in this video, I want to talk about how to consistently farm Kates. Before we start, I want to talk about how the nothing. Kate spawning works. Basically how it works is that it will randomly replace one of the enemies that you're fighting. So the best chances to spawn a Kate is to find battles that will spawn five enemies, which is on, the max I've amount of enemies that you can encounter at once. All right, so the most consistent location that I have found for finding groups of five enemies is in the Whistling Caverns, which is located right outside the southeast location of Primrose's starting town, the Sunshades. So give that a try and let me know how it goes but of course RNG will be RNG so sometimes you can spawn three within 15 minutes and other times you may only spawn one within an hour so once you find your Kate feel free to do whatever you want to do with it you can try to capture it or you can try to roll an XP or JP boost with Bewildering Grace but once you find it, you've accomplished your goal. So go ahead and have fun. So put this information to use. And if you can find a better place for farming cakes, let me know in the comments below. Basically, if you find another area besides the Whistling Caverns that spawns groups of five enemies way more than it does here, I'd like to know about it. If you haven't already seen my first video on how to easily defeat Kates because they have such high evasion and uh, physical defense and magical defense, uh, you should give that a, a look. Basically, use magic to defeat these Kates, uh, and if you can't use magic, then use soul stones. And there's an easy way to farm ice soul stones in chapter 1 area. So if this video helped you out, leave a comment, let me know how it went, leave a like if you found a cake, and subscribe for more Octopath Traveler content. Thanks, bye bye Here we go! Cool off! Out of my way. Now, what next? I think not. Here we go. Oh, buddy. Who knows what awaits? Try again. 